Hi there, my name is Barbara Hamilton, and I was asked to share about my specialty of medicine, which is called interventional radiology. And this will be a brief uh, slideshow just to make it easier. I hope this helps. So uh, my specialty is uh, that I'm a diagnostic and interventional radiologist. So a radiologist is a physician who does an intern year, whether in medicine or surgery, um, I did kind of a hybrid combination of those. And after that, we do four years of dedicated imaging residency. So we learn different kinds of imaging from head to toe. Uh, then most radiologists go on to do a fellowship. So my fellowship is in interventional radiology. And you can see some of these other examples of different fellowships that people do to specialize within radiology. So being a person who does image guided procedures on, under um, you know, in a minimally invasive manner. That means that I end up seeing a lot of dialysis patients, liver disease patients, cancer patients, trauma patients. I also see a lot of post-operative patients and new diagnoses. So whether I'm doing a biopsy for someone or um, helping to make the diagnosis using a procedure. So some of the procedures that I do uh, at classify them into two groups, really. Some of them are quite simple, and those are the biopsies, drainages, chest tube placement, and venous access. Of course, any of these can quickly become complex depending on the patient, um, but venous access includes things like placing catheters or getting access, uh, reopening dialysis uh, fistulae. Some of the more complex procedures I do are arterial and venous interventions as well. Um, things like revascularization, which means opening up blood, blood vessels that are closed down by disease, um, like in the case of a gangrenous limb, or embolization, which is closing down the arteries that are bleeding. So that's an example of what I do for, say, trauma patients. There are venous procedures, um, like if somebody gets blood clots in the veins, sometimes I'm called upon to help. Uh, TIPS is an acronym uh, standing for Transjugular Intrahepatic Portosystemic Shunt. So this is one of the more complex procedures that interventional radiologists do for uh, people who have variceal bleeding related to cirrhosis. So those are just a couple of examples. Of course, I'm just scratching the surface here. A typical workday for me uh, starts at eight o'clock and that's when I go to um, kind of central command, which is the control room where all of my staff is uh, working. We review the procedure requests for the day. I go and do patient consults and I, I call my fellow physicians who are asking me to do various things for their patients. Um, so I give their uh, my input for those cases and do procedures as uh, as they're clinically appropriate. And so basically I'm working with my team in radiology to organize these procedures in the areas of the department where they're going to happen. So sometimes I'll do things under ultrasound guidance, that'll be an ultrasound, sometimes CAT scan, um, and other times when I'm using live x-ray, I do those in dedicated fluoroscopy rooms, um, which we call IR, interventional radiology rooms. The reason I chose the specialty was a combination of things. Initially, I was drawn, on, drawn in by the medical imaging aspect, which is fascinating. Um, I also like the visuospatial reasoning that's used. I love being able to use my knowledge of anatomy and the specialized tools in my field to navigate through the body using minimally invasive techniques. Um, and basically the process is like a video game. So of course, not to triv trivialize what we do, but it's, um, it's that fun um, and it's rewarding being able to drive, um, you know, different devices through the body to do things without actually doing surgery without making an incision. Um, I absolutely love working with my hands. So of course this is part, huge part of the field. 
Um, and just basically, it's a combination of diagnosing and treating a problem. So you get to often be the first one to help diagnose a problem and you get the first crack at treating it sometimes. So this is extremely gratifying. The best part of my job is being able to save life and limb. So sometimes I'm saving somebody from bleeding to death, like a trauma patient or someone bleeding from an ulcer. And sometimes you can see their vital signs turn around right on the table. And there's no feeling like that in the world. Um, the worst part is probably applicable to a lot of fields of medicine, um, but working within the our fractured medical system, it, Sometimes you feel powerless to help your patients or you see all the ways that our medical our, our system leaves patients behind and that can be really difficult and it can be frustrating at times. Uh, but my advice to students, uh, particularly those who are looking to pursue a career in um, the medical field would be that if you would like to work with your hands, you might be suited to a surgically oriented field like mine. So check out interventional radiology. And also um, if there, you know, there are lots of procedural fields in medicine. So whether you're in the emergency room intubating a patient or you're in the ICU placing an arterial line, there are lots of jobs where you get to work with your hands. And um, you know, it's not only surgery, interventional radiology, but if you think that you might be interested in one of these fields, you can check out my book. It's called Save Lives, Enjoy Your Own, Finding Your Place in Medicine. Um, and you can find that on my website at tiredsuperheroin.com. Best of luck to you. And these are the various ways you can reach me if you have any other questions. All the best. <laughs>